This video is brought to you by my patrons on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Rachel, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Lilith, Allison, Idalis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Null, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Devalina, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Brenda, Willow Witch, Danny, Blessing Avery, Maddie, and Alexia. If you would like to support the channel and get access to exclusive audios and exclusive novel readings, the link is in the description. I have never seen an Applebee's that is this well cleaned up and like, why is the structure completely different than any other Applebee's that I've ever seen? <laughs> you, you must not go to Applebee's enough because Every single Applebee's that I've ever been to looks the exact same. And then we come in here and it is completely different. There's like, the bar is on the right hand side and, 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 and there's like a double stack of booths on the left. This is just insane. I would have never expected there to be a bougie version of an Applebee's, but I mean... I guess they went all out, didn't they? Okay, no, 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 no. I am not going to hear any negative talk from you whatsoever, all right? We both killed it. Sure, I did single-handedly drag you through the tug-of-war tournament, but you need to keep in mind who did great with the egg carry thing that they totally said the name of but i do not remember whatsoever who did great with that because i i sure know that i didn't i was like stumbling and fumbling the only reason we won that is because you got us out to such a great lead at the beginning so don't even try and put it all on me okay Oh, I've, I've thought about it. I've definitely thought that, oh, wait, this is this coming a little bit too easy, perhaps? Are you and your, your friends and my supposed ally, Chad, just playing me for a fiddle again and this random game day thing was just a facade to get us to go to dinner together? No, exactly. When you told me when we were making breakfast that that wasn't the case, I am going to believe you. Remember that pinky promise, because that's where this all comes back to. If, you, if you're lying to me in breaking a pinky promise, then I don't know what to tell you. There's, there's simply no way to come back from that. So you better be telling me the truth. That is what I thought. That's what I thought. So, you're all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I really, I really did have so much fun. Like, a ridiculous amount of fun. More fun than I thought I was going to. And it's crazy because this is really the first time that I've interacted with a lot of these people on a consistent basis. And... I cannot believe that everyone is so fun. Usually in a group, there are people who are the life of the party and people who aren't the life of the party. And that's totally fine. You have to have a balance in a friend group. But the fact that everyone there is so much fun and has such good vibes about them was honestly shocking to me. And I don't know. You never find that, man. There's always a vibe killer in a friend group. Thomas McMillan. You you expect me to believe that, that that's a real name. Thomas McMillan. I don't know. You know... <laughs> no, you're right. There's... D d d technically, there's no reason for me to not believe that that's a real person that y'all just r decided to not invite on the friend group vacation. But for some reason, Thomas McMillan, after talking to you for an entire 24 hours, definitely sounds like a random name you would just make up in order to convince me of something that's not true. See? See? Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a genius. 
but I did win us trivia. No, no, come on. I will give you your props on everything that you won for us. But let's, let's be real. Were you going to know that Renaissance art question? I don't know. And actually, I do know because after I answered the question correctly, you threw your arms around me and literally said, Oh my god, I would have never gotten that answer. You are the best. Oh yeah, I guess I am forgetting the part where you said, oh my gosh, you are the best person that I've ever met in my entire life. I am so grateful to have spent the past 24 hours with you, uh, hanging out in our cabin, playing truth or dare by the fire, making breakfast for everybody. You just have such a such a nice head on your shoulders. And, and I can't help but fall head over heels with into you uh every moment that we spend together what what you were you were asking for something so i gave it out there it wasn't completely nonsensical sure but you know you were the one who wanted more so don't don't come at me for something you directly asked for yeah you you are right this has been a while. I guess maybe because the Applebee's is so bougie, they have the service to go along with it, where it's like, oh, you know, we're, we're so busy here at this Applebee's. We don't necessarily have time for you. So, you know, we're going to just pretend, we're going to glance your way at certain points, maybe consider bringing over your... Bev. There. Yeah, they are. Okay, all right. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing just so great, especially at the current moment. How about we pretend that you didn't hear anything of what I said and we just, you know, have this uh, patron employee thing go. Okay, no, I'm just making it worse for myself. Um, it is, isn't it? Okay, okay, you gotta trust me. You you said you haven't been to an Applebee's for a while, right? Exactly, so you got to trust me on this, okay? All right, uh, can we place our order? Thank you very much, okay. We will have an order of the mozzarella sticks. We will also, oh, marinara is fine on that, yeah. Uh, we will also have an order of the boneless wings, uh, hot buffalo. Is that okay with you? Okay, good, good. Oh, you like hot stuff? Yeah. Well, makes sense because you are. Um, and we will uh, ranch or blue cheese. Uh, blue cheese it is. And um, you want the veggies too? All right, yeah, we'll take celery with that as well. And then can we also get an order of the chicken quesadilla? And finally, to round it off, can we get an order of the pretzels and cheese? Thank you so, so, so very much. And once again, it is so wonderful to have this great first impression of each other, isn't it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I definitely didn't weasel my way out of that. Did you see the look on his face when he left? I don't think that's necessarily a positive thing, but you know, maybe the maybe the humor got him. Maybe I wore him down enough with my extensive order uh, to, you know. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 hey. Think about it this way. A- it's happy hour, so all of those appetizers are 50% off. B, we have a $50 gift card. This order with the tip and tax will account for maybe 50% of this gift card. So we could go come and do this again tomorrow if our hearts desired. Now, 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 what, what would be the problem on, uh, with going 
on a date with me twice in a row, huh? Two nights in a row. Is, is that the problem here? Or is it the, or, or are you just too good for Applebee's? Are you too good for Applebee's? The, the home of literally the most delicious mozzarella stick in the entire universe. You've never had an Applebee's mozzarella stick? Oh my God. Mm, okay. Be prepared to have your mind blown. No, I am being so, 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 so serious. It is delicious. It, the cheese on the inside is perfectly melted and baked, and the outside is so crunchy. They're not too small to the point where they're not even substantive, but they aren't too big to the point where it's difficult to actually, you know, tackle one. They are the perfect shape. They are the perfect size. They are the ultimate starter at any sit-down restaurant that I've been at that is at the quality of Applebee's. I have to add that caveat there because obviously there are better advertisers at places that are not just chain restaurants that are family-friendly, affordable, you know, but yeah. Oh, so you want to stop talking about appetizers on a date. Well, you know, I, I can't really blame you. That that does make sense. So, um, well, what do you want to talk about? Do you want to, like, ruminate on our success some more? Or do you want to switch over to a different topic? Um, okay... Diana is the girl who was wearing the bucket hat and was she made that joke about the Bass Pro Shop thing, right? Yeah, no, I do I do remember her, Diana. Um why do you want my opinion on her? No, it's not weird, I guess, you know, but I didn't really see you two as being close, uh, and that's the only reason I can think of you wanting my opinion on her, and I don't know, I, if you must know, she didn't really, like, stand out that much to me. She's sweet, and she's kind. You could definitely tell that she has a kind smile, uh, and, and from the limited interaction I had with her, uh, she was nice enough, but she didn't really interest me enough to go back to that well, if that makes sense, to actively seek out more conversations with her. Uh, but she was nice. She was cool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she was nice. She was cool. She was sweet, I guess, if you want me to have three adjectives in there. Now, why in the world are you asking me these questions about her? Why do you want my opinion on her so bad? We are here together, and I don't really feel the need to talk about Diana. I don't know what's going on here. First, you act like you want to know how I feel about her, uh, and then I tell you how I feel about her, and then you seem upset with how I feel about her. Uh, so I'm getting, like, completely mixed signals here. I'm very unsure of what is going on. Okay, all right, hold on. Let me just oh, let me just tune in. Let me see if I can get the telepathy going on to completely understand what you're talking about. Oh, wait, that's not something that I can do at all because that's not how the human brain works. So if you want me to, like, understand where you're coming from or what you're even, like, trying to get across, you're going to have to use your words and actively tell me otherwise i'm going to be completely lost in the dark oh sorry go continue all right that is 
something, I guess. No, I'm not... Oh my god. I'm, I'm not acting flippant about this whole thing. It's just that I don't... I kind of told you everything that I have to tell you about how I feel about her. Uh, she's nice, she seems sweet, and she seems kind. Uh, and all of those things are true, but that... Uh, you telling me that she told you that she thought I was cute and was interested in doing something with me doesn't change how I feel about the situation. That, that bit of information doesn't all of a sudden make me go, oh, well, now I want to, you know, d do what she wants to do. No, um, not at all. Okay, I am, you, you have completely lost me. So we are here together. We just had an amazing, well, at least I thought it was amazing, day together, you and me. We won fair and square because I was keeping an eye out for any sort of cheating that would lean it towards our winning or whatever. Um, and, 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 and we had a great time we won and now we're here and we're supposed to be having a really fun time together and chad basically revealed to me that he did set us up because of mutual interest and now we were talking about a ran sorry she's probably nice and we'll I'll probably get to know her uh, as I continue uh, being friends with all of you uh, a random girl that I talked to for probably five minutes and, and you're upset with me seemingly for not being interested in her when I thought it was pretty clear that we have something going on unless I completely misread the entirety of the past 24 hours, even though I have asked multiple times if I am misreading what's going on between the two of us. And all of the times I have asked that, you have repeatedly said, no, you're not misreading this. It is, we are flirting with each other and having a good time. So what are we doing? Why are you upset with me for not being interested in another girl who can be as kind and sweet as she is? I don't really care. Be but, but the reason I'm not is because I'm interested in you. Oh my gosh, thank God we are at a corner booth and there are not people around us. Because I'm... I don't know. I don't know. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. What? But no, like, I, it doesn't matter what you think I should do or how I should feel. I like you. And I've said that multiple times, I do find myself to constantly, and, and, and keep in mind, I have people that I know here more than you, and I can't help but feel like I'm gravitating towards you. In all reality, I should be closest to Chad. I should be clinging to his side because I don't really know anyone else here like that. But I want to spend my time with you because I'm interested. Oh, man. I, I don't know. Do, do, we were having such a good time. I feel like this is going to completely like derail us. And I'm not saying we can't get the train back on the tracks, but I don't I don't want to like Okay, fine. Yeah, no. Um oh gosh. Why would you not be good for me?
Okay. No, oh my gosh. No, no, you have to listen to me because I feel like there is a level of self-sabotage going on here. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing that's happening, but I, I, I think you just need to hear me out. I, again, am not trying to sound flippant. I am not. I am trying to... What I was going to say after that okay is... And I guess I'm... You seem like a person who respects bluntness uh, in your everyday life. And hopefully you feel the same way when you're upset. Hope I'm taking a risk here going out on a limb. Um, I don't really care if you're, like sad a lot because I want to be there to try and help you not be sad and if you are sad I and you can't get out of the sadness I want to be there to help you exist in the sadness in a more healthy manner I guess I, I want to, because we can't like relationships can't all be good times there have to be bad times too or sad times and you know in all honesty i get sad a lot too uh but i am aware that that is something that is i can't enjoy the the pure bliss of happiness like for example that i had while we were uh hanging out and kicking everyone's butt in the games i can't enjoy that level of happiness if i don't experience the sadness that comes along with it because if i was just happy all the time i wouldn't be able to appreciate all of the happiness because it's all i would know so i i No, like, I, that's not a negative for me. I, I did not know that. Obviously, you haven't told me that yet. But I, if you're clinically depressed, I, I, I appreciate who you are. And I appreciate all of the unique things about you that make you, you. And if you are clinically depressed, I want to be there for you as an outlet or someone to just lean on whenever you're feeling that way. And I have enough struggle with mental health from myself and my family to know that, you know, clinical depression is not something that just goes away. It's not something that just comes over you one day. It's a continuous thing that affects you at every single moment. I want to be there for you at every single moment. I'm not, no, no, I'm not talking about like, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to sound clingy or anything like that. And we, we've only been talking for 24 hours, but if we were to enter into a relationship together, I would want to be there for you and being there for you because I am a, a helper. I don't think I have a savior complex or anything like that, but I do like to help other people feel better or at least feel more comfortable. That would make me happy. So you can't, you couldn't pot it could, there couldn't possibly be unless you're just like a super bad person and you haven't told me yet and you committed some heinous crimes, which I mean, to be fair, wouldn't put that past you, you, you little devil, but you're not going to like scare me away by pretending that you're not good for me and you're going to drag me down when all you've done the past 24 hours is lift my spirits and make me feel more comfortable in groups of people than I felt in a very long time. And, and how, how can I not just completely be into you with those eyes? I am telling you, you can look at me and I will do whatever you want with those eyes. And, and guess what? The combo of the eyes and the smile, especially after you were feeling so down and seeing a smile on your face, that if, if you could bless me with that every single day, I wouldn't ask for anything else in my life. This completes a day. Yeah, I, uh, I guess. 
I was hoping you were a little too distraught to catch on, but uh, nothing really gets past you, and I should have known that in my moment of emotional vulnerability. Yeah, I would like to... <coughs> Sorry. I would like to be in a relationship with you, or at least start going on dates to have progression towards uh, going steady together. I would really like that. <sighs> yeah? And, and you know, you, you haven't even, like, thought about me. What if, what if I am, like, a serial killer or something like that? And I mean, I am a pretty, pretty down to munch on some cornflakes. So, <laughs> ow. No, 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 no. No hitting. No hitting. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Do, yeah. Okay, no no kicking either. You can't. That, that, that's not very nice. This is the man who got you free appetizers at Applebee's. You are about to feast on the most delicious mozzarella stick known to man. And you're hitting and kicking. And you're going to get a boyfriend out of this. And you're hitting and kicking me with absolutely no regard for my safety? Mmm. Pretty cringe, if you ask me. No, I, I'm... All jokes aside, I am being very serious. I think you have such an amazing personality. And uh, we are in an Applebee's. We are in public in an Applebee's. But I have definitely told you how into your body I am. Uh, and I don't know, just throughout the whole day... Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? You you definitely definitely exposed a part of yourself to to me today that was very vulnerable, and uh, that that took a lot of courage. So I'm gonna do the same right now. Uh, <laughs> when we were in the the kitchen uh, and we were cooking up uh, the breakfast for everybody, I I'm like a huge fan of domesticity, and I definitely had thoughts of us uh living in a in an apartment together and like doing that together but in our own place not now obviously not in the near future but when we feel comfortable about it uh, that is maybe a dream that i would have Okay, okay, so I am out here providing unconditional support to you, and you have the nerve to call me a dork? I don't know, I don't know what. <sighs> Technically, they gave the Applebee's gift card to me, so I could just eat all of these appetizers on my own. <laughs> hey, just because I am r relatively thin does not mean I could absolutely uh, doesn't mean that I couldn't absolutely body a group of Applebee's appetizers. You, if you, you, mm, you, you'll see. You will see. We might use this entire gift card tonight. Just letting you know that right now. No, uh, yeah, this is, I think this has been a really great talk too. I, I, I'm glad that we are on the same page because if we weren't on the same page, then, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly the Kanye meme, yeah. I guess we'll never know, but fuck that guy, but yeah. So... Do you maybe want to ask each other some more questions? Get to know each other a little bit more? Before our, our food comes, of course. Yeah, I, I think I'd like that too. Uh, you want me to go first? Okay, I will. So, uh, I will ask you the question. What was your favorite moment of today? Oh my god, it was insane. I cannot believe that we beat Warren. How in God's name did we beat Warren? I mean, sure, he had Ash on his team, and Ash is like, what, five foot two? But the fact that we beat Warren, 
I'm simply speechless. Don't know how we did that. Insane.